Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to open file dialogues and work with them in Excel using VBA macros. So file dialogues are those that we can see here when we try to open a file. Uh, this is the open file dialog or the save as file dialog. Right, so we're gonna see today in this video how to open them with VBA code so that we can incorporate that functionality in our macros to, um, to prompt the user to open a file or, or save a file, etc. And you can find all of this in one of my blogs here. So I will le leave the link in the description. You can have a look. There's even more uh, about file dialogues here. So let's now go back to Excel and see how to do that. So I'm going to open the Visual Basic Editor and add a module. And file dialogues are one of the many dialogues available in Excel. There are more than 200 dialogues available. We could actually uh, target or, or trigger a, a dialog in Excel just with the dialogues or uh, using the dialogues object. Let me, let me show you here. So um, open dialog, for example. And then we're going to have a variable, let's call it object dialog. As a dialog object, and then we can simply set the object dialog equals application.dialogs. And as you see now, here we have so many possibilities, right? But now we just want to see the file open dialog. So let me choose that one. And then we can simply show the dialog. So if I click on play here, it prompts a file open dialog, right? However, in Excel, there are better ways to work with file dialog. So I'm going to show you a better way to do it. Let me put it in um, another module here. I'm going to call open file dialog. And uh, specifically, we're going to see now the file dialog object. Don't get confused with the other one. The other one was the dialogs object. So there are many uh, possible dialogs, but this is the file dialog object. And again, we can um, declare uh, a variable as a file dialog. Now you see it's here. And then we can set my dialog. And remember, this is now a file dialog, not just any dialog, as application.file dialog. Here it is. And when we select this one, there are four options. So we can have a date. Uh, a file picker, a folder picker, a file open dialog, or a file save as uh, um, dialog. Let's choose, for example, the file open dialog. But it will, it will work similarly with the other types, right? And now, again, we could show that simply with my dialog show, right? So if we play that, it shows the file dialog. Now, before we show the dialog, we can customize the dialog. So if I say with my dialog, uh, we're going to show it at the end. But before that, we may want to um, customize the, the dialog. And here are the properties that we can modify. So for example, we can set a title by default the file dialog open or file open dialog will, will show open, but we could set a title. We could put whatever we want, right? Select uh, files to be open or whatever, right? And there are many other things we could here set before we open it. Uh, for example, we can put some filters specifying which type of files we want the user to open. We can also set the initial type name. We can set the, the button name. Or we can also set whether to choose one or multiple files with this property here. So if I set it to true, it allows to select multiple files. 
which is actually the default. So I may choose so I may choose false to just let the user pick one file, pick an, uh, one file to be open. But this is important. The file will not be open. The code will just launch the dialog so that we or the user can pick a file, but it will not open the file. To open the file, we need to use um, another another function, which is available for only two of the types here, for, for dialog open and dialog safe, which is execute. But before that, we may want to see if the user has actually selected the file, because we can also cancel, right? So to do that, we can actually remove the show here and put it down here. If my dialog dot show equals minus one, this means one or more files have been selected. Otherwise, it would be zero. Then we have to we can get the selected file or files. Uh, let's say in this case we ask to select only one file. So my selection, whatever whatever that is. Um, is going to be my dialog dot selected items. So we use now this property here. And the first selected item we need to specify. Um, we could specify which one. In this case, there's only one file, but if there are more, we could specify which one we want to select. Or I'll show you in a moment, we can also navigate or loop through all the files that have been selected. So now let me just. Um, and the if statement here, well, if it's um, selected, then we're going to, for example, we're going to show in a message box, for example, file to open is, and here comes my selection, right? So now let's play it. So it will um, open a dialog with this title now. It will only allow to pick one file, and once I pick the file, it will uh, show the name, uh, the name and the path of that file. Okay, so let me just play it. So let's pick a file, for example, this one, and as you see, it has it didn't open the file. Yeah, it did, it didn't open the file. We will get there, uh, but it shows here the path. So it is in the documents and so on, right? In this, uh, this is the name and path. This is the path we need if we want to do whatever we want to do with this file. If we want to open it actually, or if we want to copy or, or do whatever with that file. However, there is just a very simple way with this um, file dialog object to open the file. We can use the execute method. So we would come here again and say, my dialog dot execute and this will open the file i'm going to comment this we don't need to uh, to show the message now but this will actually open the file okay so let's let's play it now uh, i'm going to pick a file down here a test file that i have here right and as you see i will click on open now it will open the file the file is here in the background there's nothing because it's just a test file Right, but it opened the file with um, with execute. Okay, but execute only works with two of these file types: the open file and save file. If we choose the pick file, it will it will not work. Or if we use the pick folder, of course it will not work. Um, the folder folder picker is just to pick the path of a given folder. Right now, if there are more than one file, so let me remove this for now. Let me remove the execute or commented. commented. Um, if there are more than one, we can loop through those files with a for each. For each my, let's call it selected files, in my dialog selected items. You see now I don't specify because we're going to loop through each of them here in this loop. And then we could um, message box here, um, file name is or whatever, 
right? And we would have here my selected files. So let me comment that we are not going to use this code here now. But since we are not using this code, we need to have show here. OK, to launch the, the dialog. And then we are going to set this to true to allow multiple files selection. And now if I play this, uh, we get the dialog here to open. I'm going to select now two files. So you see, I can select as many as I want. And I'm actually selecting workbooks, of course, because that's what we want to open in Excel. But we could choose any other type of file because we didn't set any filters. So it shows all the files and we could actually pick any, any type of file, right? Uh, it would simply not open it or it would try to open it in Excel if it's not an Excel workbook. But maybe we just want to see how many files are um, or what are the files in a, in a given folder. But in this case, we're going to just um, have these two selected. And when I click on open, it's going to loop through the selected items. Remember, we use the selected items and it's going to show me. So this is the first one test and this is the, f the path. And then the, the second one, test uh, two, right? There's just some test files here in that same folder, right? So this is what this piece of code here is doing. Um, again, if we wanted to open those files, we would use my dialog execute, right? Or we would use workbooks.open um, and the file name, right? Um, and that's basically um, that's basically what we can do with this with this object, right? There is yet another uh, another possibility in Excel, and um, this is the one I used mostly. But there is another another function to do this in a bit of a slightly uh, different way. And let me show you. If you go to the block here you will see uh, some differences between the one I just explained now, file dialog, and the one that we're going to see now, which is get open file name. Um, so there's more information in the in the block if you want to, to read about it. Um, but here, let's say again, so we're going to say a file open dialog. And now we're going to use get open file name. So, so this one is, is very straightforward. We don't need to segment so selected files let me call it like this and this is going to be a variant it's going to be application get open file name and cell files is a variant yeah as i said and this is application this put simply as is open a dialog as you see very straightforward it's just a simple line we can add here parameters for example, you see the file filter. We have the file index is connected to the file filter. The title, um, the bottom text also, and we can also choose to select one or multiple files. So let me put this in the next line. The file filter looks like this here. Um, it follows, so in this case, we are choosing only Excel files with XLS and whatever it comes after XLS, but we could define any other type of, of documents, right? Now we can also, as we did before, um, set a title, select a file, or in this case, open a file, but, but again, this doesn't open the file. It only allows to select the file. So select um, a file to, to open or something like that, whatever title you want to have. And then we could also and then we could also set multi select to, to true if we want to select multiple files. Oh, I forgot to close the parentheses here. 
Okay, so that's how it looks like um, if we want to add parameters. And that opens the dialog right away. Now to get the files, uh, as we did earlier, right? We can loop through, through the files selected. So let's say for each file in selected files, we can display U file will be each of those files. Uh, and it will show again the name and the and the path, right? And uh, it will not open the uh, the file, right? In this case, we do not have an execute function. So if we want to open the files, we will have to use the workbook open um, function. And you can read more about the workbook object the blog, or there are also some videos in this channel. I'm gonna leave the link also up here. Now, so let me run this, it opens, I select, it allows me to select. You see, it only allows me to select Excel files down here because we have set the filter to show only uh, Excel files. It only shows Excel files and it only allows me, of course, to choose Excel files. So again, I'm choosing those test files from before and I click on open, it gives me the, the name and the path of each file. And if we want to open workbooks.open, here's the method and of course the file name. Uh, there are other parameters here that we can add. Uh, you can read more about it um, in my blog under uh, workbook object. And actually, you can also see some videos here in this channel, or you can get the guide for intermediate learners with um, Excel VBA objects. It's a very useful, um, it's a very useful book. Um, now, if I play this here, and we select those two, click open. It's going to show me and then it's going to open them. It's going to show me the second file and it's going to open the second file. It has opened in the background the two files because we added this workbooks.open function, right? So those are the different possibilities we have here. Um, and again, for file dialogs, you should definitely use either file dialog or or get open file name but i usually i prefer this one here it has a little more uh, possibilities and that's how we do it in excel using vva macros thanks for watching